first up is just a regular backflip. So for a regular backflip, they're actually not going to go backwards. Those are ones that you would use more often in gymnastics or other stuff. So for just a regular backflip, I would stand in the middle of the trampoline where there's the most bounce. Just be sure that you don't rotate if you can actually get the regular backflip. needs to help what you can do for drills would be like this just going up and then jumping backwards or going up and under rotating if you can't over rotate so like under rotate would be like onto your knees just be careful and make sure you have enough energy to make the jump because if you get tired and you try and do a backflip, it might be like this. Some of them, I'm about to teach you some real combos and some different rotations, like variations and stuff. So yeah, we're about to go and do that. Okay, so now we're going to do different types of backflips. We're going to start with a simple one with our arms, just going up and then going out. You might find that, just depending on how, kind of how you, when you do the back lift, you'll realize what's comfortable for you. Sometimes I just do a tuck and don't use my arms, and that works. Or sometimes I do those, which are a faster rotation of a pike, I guess. And I can't do a complete layout perfect yet. Perfect which is like you're flat the whole time and it looks pretty awesome. So like, your back lips can be with your arms. You can tuck if you need to, which would be like this. This is a back tuck. You can go backwards if you need to. So like an in-place back tuck with bouncing would be like this. And like this. So for an in-place back tuck, for like less distance, you want to have kind of control, I guess. So you want to go up, and as you're coming down, you're going to tuck. But if you want to go for distance, you tuck and push backwards off the tramp. So I wanted to make it all the way over here. You want to do maybe an arc back lift, which is one where you look at your back handspring, but don't put your hands on the ground and just finish it. So that would be like this. That's not really it, but those are the floaty backflips. That's what I like to call them. They go like this. So for a regular backflip, you can go like this. Or like this. Or even just like this. So yeah. Now we're going to move on to some variations. 
so I don't really have a name for this yet, but you put your right foot or your left foot in the front, like a gallop step, which I've been teaching you guys, and then you go up and then back or straight back. So what's cool about backflips and really all tricks, most, of the, most often you can go any direction. So like, I can't do it yet, but I used to be able to go do a front flip, like, I, jump, I could jump sideways and then do a front flip, but still, like, land the same way. Like, this is facing the same direction. I can't now. It ends up being more like a side flip, which isn't the same. So, um, we're going to start with a standing back flip, which you can put your hands under your thighs, or you can tuck. So, standing back flips and standing back tucks are much more difficult and require much more control and rotation and if you fail you're more likely to get hurt so be sure that you do the other back flips first until you're ready to do the other ones to do a one-fourth back flip it's much easier to have an aerial down my aerial actually to be honest i just realized by looking up more videos on how to do it that i'm doing the easier version the easier version is going up as high as you can without using your legs as much. I use them, but they're not my main um, rotation is my arms. So I'm going to try and do the regular aerial first, which is going to be less bouncing. I guess I kind of did it. So your legs are supposed to be really straight, and I haven't got that part down yet. So yeah. Maybe even a cartwheel going backwards, which you need to be really safe about. It's pretty pitiful looking, but yeah. So that might help you a little bit. So I like to rotate over my right shoulder. This one. This left one right, I think. And I just like to so I over rotate a little. like that that might help you um so that's how you do that version then for a backflip 180 you need more rotation you don't want to tuck so kind of like for a front flip 180 you kind of i like to do it this way okay so it's gonna be kind of confusing so for front flip 180 i like to almost put my arms together out in front of me and swing one way and that helps me rotate and then i kind of just jump through it and of getting that one's way more arm rotation than I usually use. Sometimes I like to use it that way. And the combo you could do with that for the back flip would be 180 back flip. So that would be like this. Back foot to front foot and front foot to back foot 
when it was in, just be far out. Then you can go backwards. Your heads on some back clips might touch the ground almost. That's okay. It happens. So I'm going to try and see if I can do that. That. My base is really close to the ground, but yeah. So, there's not much else to show you except maybe a back handspring, which I can only do on this ramp yet so far, because for a back handspring, it's easier to have the back foot down, because then you know that you'll be able to rotate. And for my version right now, I'm not using much spring. The trampoline's doing that for me. But, but what you want to do is you want to lean backwards a little bit and then jump back with your hands on the ground, push and kick over. I basically rotate through the whole thing before I make any kind of movement. That was a little bit better. I just need to kick more.